devotes his life to righting wrongs, protecting the innocent, and punishing the guilty. Cranston is known to the underworld as the shadow, never seen, only heard. His true identity is known only to his constant friend and aide, Margot Link. Today's story, Death Under the Cap. Time we started on, Lamont? Huh? I beg your pardon, Margot. I've been daydreaming. I say it's been lovely having tea in this old garden, but after all, you're supposed to go to that faculty reception tonight. That's right. Mind me, I'm nearly an old grad. Before you brought me to my senses, I was back in college days again. Hmm? Come here a lot when I was in school. A few of us would get together on spring evenings and talk Oriental philosophy to all ours. And carry Professor Kalima in here to this table. Carry him? Yes, his. Legs are shriveled. Shriveled? It's utterly useless. His arms are slightly affected, too. Sounds absolutely grotesque. Yes, he's not very pleasant to look at. The only way he could get from place to place was to have a servant carry him like a baby. I should meet him. Oh, I'm not sure I care to. How could a sinister person like that ever become a professor? I admit some of his ideas are unusual, but he's a brilliant scholar. Uh, paper, mister? Uh, yes, paper? please. Here you are, son. Oh, gee, thanks, mister. Thanks a lot. What paper is it, anyway? Local daily. Here you are. Oh, oh dear. What's up? Young Bobby Spence. He's killed himself. Spence? Yes, a Bobby was a student here. Let's see what it says. Majored in philosophy. He would have graduated with highest honors in two days. He was found lying dead in his room this morning. Oh. Does it say why he did it? He left a note behind him, but the authorities have suppressed it. I wonder why he wants to take his own life. Go to the campus, Margot. Possibly we'll find the answer to that question there. Come in, Bragg. Well, who was it? President, President Winwood is here to see you. Well, what of it? Well, he looks very severe, sir. I, I hope he doesn't blame the philosophy department for this. So what? Oh, this tragedy of young Spencer. That is not a tragedy. It is the logical conclusion of my teaching. Professor Kalima, I, I know I'm only an instructor in your department, and of course no one can deny the truth of your philosophy, but are, aren't you afraid of what? Well, if the nature of your teaching became known... Greg, I... you annoy me. Now, Anton here never does. He's both deaf and mute, but he always obeys without thinking. I have only to tap out a command on the palm of his hand like this. Oh. There, Greg. See how quickly Anton understands? Picks me up and seats me behind my desk. <laughs> Good old Anton. Only grunts when I pat his shoulder, eh, Anton? Oh, oh. Now, Bragg, show our revered President Winwood in and hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, won't you come in, Dr. Winwood? Yes, come in, sir, come in. And how are you this fine... Professor Quelima, may I speak to you in private? Oh, if you wish. Uh, take Anton with you, Bragg. Oh, yes, There, Anton and Bragg have gone. They do sit down, my dear doctor. I can say what I have to say, Stanley. Quilima, I have just come from a meeting of the administration committee. Yes? It is my painful duty to ask for your resignation from the faculty. Resignation? How dare you? My work is noted. The most brilliant department... Just a moment. Quilima, your reputation for scholarship is very high. We grant that. I've gathered the most remarkable young minds in this country yes. around me. And what have you taught them? Things beyond your comprehension. I can believe that. You taught them that the world is vile, a hopeless smut, that mankind should be destroyed. I taught them to think things through. Even when they lead to despair and suicide. Suicide like young Robert Spence. Professor Quilema, you killed young Spence with your poisonous ideas as surely as if you'd put a pistol to his head and blown his brains out. Don't be childish, Winwood. <laughs> you know, your rival university has been after me. It would serve you right if I went over to them. Do you think they'll want you when I publish young Spencer's suicide note? What? He names you as the man who drove him to it. You wouldn't dare publish it. I am going. And uh, don't bother to write out a resignation. You're discharged from a faculty. Dishonorably discharged. Good thing. When would you dare? Oh, you fool, you stupid fool. You imagine I won't have my revenge for this? That I haven't plotted it already? Come in, Brad. Come in. Hurry. Bring Anton. I must get to work. 
Is it really true? Winwood has, has discharged you? Yes. yes, but he can't. It's outrageous. It's impossible. Yeah, that's right, Bragg. Absolute belief in me is what I need right now. You and I will show these academic fools that they can't insult Philip Kalima. That would be wonderful, but, but how will you do it? I've been carrying out certain experiments secretly. Now we will find a use for my research and put it into practical chemistry. Chemistry? Oh, I don't understand. I, I mean to make a change, a slight change in the graduation exercises in the chapel tomorrow. As a warning for those who insult me. Well, what are you going to do, Professor? Plant a bomb in the basement. Time to explode as President Winwood is giving out his precious degrees. Oh, a hundred of people. But you can't. That, that's murder. What of it? It's going to be done. And you will help me. No, no, I won't. I, I can't. Not murder. Let me out of here. Anton. Anton, stand away from the door. No chance, Bragg. Anton cannot hear. And he knows I don't want you to get away. He has braced himself against the door. You'll stay and help me with my plan. You can't get away. I can't. I must. Even if I have to jump out this window. Bragg, Bragg. You can't stop me. I torn through the window. I must signal Anton along this wall. To chase Bragg and bring him back. And so understands, as he always does. He'll bring him back, and when he does, I can put my scheme of revenge into operation. I'm not to be led into a trap that easily. 
If you wish to escape, take this pretty girl with you and go run away before it's too late. No, I, I can't do that. I won't. Then stay, you fool, and see what happens to you. Once, once I felt a silly affection for you, but there's no room for affection in the world. I'm going to rule. Go. Go quickly, go. The Marquis. Yes, Professor Gulliam, I see that we must obey you. We shall go immediately. You command. That's wise. That's very wise. You are always the shortest of my pupils. Now go, go and close the door up. Gulliam's mind is gone. Gulliam's genius has twisted his mind into dangerous channels. He's lucky he can't move, can't harm anyone. I'm not so sure. His method in this madness. He's up to mischief, and I must find out what his plan is. I must. But how? How can you? By staying with him. Not leaving this house until I learn his plot. He's driven you away once. He'll do it again. No, Margot, because I'm going back to him later as the shadow. <laughs> I thought Anton would catch you. Let's go. Oh, me, yeah. Let's go. Let's get it here. Make him let me go. Professor Kalima, why don't you leave me alone? Because, my friend, you are the only one who knows just what I intend to do. I have no desire that my plan should be disclosed to let anyone. Oh, I won't tell anyone. I'm, I'm sure you won't. You won't have the chance. <laughs> Make him stop. He's hurting my arm. You must expect Anton to be a little annoyed that you brag. After all, he's been chasing you all night. Stop pounding me. Don't be hysterical, Greg. <laughs> Now that you're close enough, I would tap on Anton's hand and tell him to release you. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, that's better. There, now you're free. Professor, Professor, you must give up this wild idea. Give up my revenge. Don't be childish. But to kill all those people, you, you've nothing against them. You, you don't even know most of them. That is not important. My purpose is to ruin this college. When I'm finished, they'll regret the insult they've given me. Yes, but hundreds of people will die, Professor. How can you sit there so calmly? Yeah, a little of that calmness might help you, Brad. If you get excited, you might attempt to run away again, and that would be most unfortunate. Oh, what do you mean? The next time, Anton will not fetch you back. When he finds you and he never fails, he will have orders to kill. Kill? Oh, no, Professor. I, I won't run. Honestly, that I... That is wise, my friend. Professor, but I've been your friend. Your assistant. I, I know you're a great man, but... Isn't there there's some other way of punishing your enemies? My way is best, Brad. We will not discuss the question. Another word and I'll have Anton quiet. No, 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 no don't do that. Yeah, don't don't do be that. alarmed. I'm only tapping Anton to tell him to pick me up. Oh. Uh, you see how easily he carries me, Brad? Anton is very strong. He could snap your neck in a moment. Yes, yes I know that. Yeah, we're going to lock you in here, Brad. Anton and I will be back shortly. And don't try going out the window. Anton will be watching that from upstairs. Good one. Wait. What am I going to do? I can tell you, Mr. Bragg. Who, who spoke? I did, Mr. Bragg. Yes, but there's no one here except me. The room's empty. No, I am here. You're in the shadows, Mr. Bragg. I've been here all along. Well, then, and you heard. You, you know the plot. You... Not all of it. Tell me, what is this plan of Philip Quilima's? No, oh, no, I can't tell Don't you. Don't be I... afraid. Even if you can't see me, I'm here to help you. Believe me. I can't tell you. It's too terrible. What I... is terrible? Quilima's plan. Oh, no, I can't tell. Anton would kill me. Quilima will make him do it. I... Mr. Bragg, you must tell me. What is Philip Quilima planning to do? No, no, you're all hounding me. Stop Bragg, it. Bragg, you must tell me. You spoke of death, of hundreds dying. You want those deaths on your conscience? No, no, I then don't. Speak, then. Who will die? What is Kulima planning? Oh, There's no time to waste. Remember, only you can save hundreds of lives. You must tell me. Yes, yes I'll tell. I'll tell. Good. It's the chapel. Kulima is planning to blow up the chapel. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. During the commencement exercises, he has the bomb already. You must stop him. Don't I worry, can't. I shall. Yes, but we're locked up here. How can hush, you? Hush, hush. I'm coming back. Back. Who are you talking to? Who's in this room? Why, I... The truth? Or do you want Anton to force it out of you? No, no. Well, I... well, well there, there was a man here, but... But you can't see him. Man, you can't see? Yes, yes, yes. He was just a voice. Have you gone know. mad? I don't know. I... What? That was a voice? Are you here, voice? Answer me! Answer me, voice! Oh, you fool. <laughs> well, we shall lock you and your crazy idea up together. Come, Anton. Oh, oh. oh Professor... 
Professor, don't leave me here. Please, please, I can't stand oh, it. Get up, boys. Oh, clean up, please. Let me go to the east when I have finished my little task in my laboratory. If there was anyone in that room with Brad, he'd be the offense Is that so, Professor? When you and Anton reach your laboratory, a shadow will be there with you.
do what he cannot see. I have thought of that. And when I throw this light switch, so <laughs> the room is dark in the shadow. Can Anton see any better in the darkness than I can? He does not have to see better, Shadow. But Anton will be able to see as well as you. You will not see him and your being invisible will not help you. Your trick will not frighten Anton now. No. No, Shadow. Anton will find you. And with his strength, he will break you like a snap stick. Don't be so sure, Kalima. Uh, I have planned it well, Shadow. The door is locked. You cannot escape. The room is tiny. Anton is bound to catch you. Others have tried to trap the Shadow. But I have done it. You hear me tapping on Anton's hand? I'm telling him there is a man here in the darkness ordering him to search for you, Shadow. To put me down. And kill my enemy. <laughs> and Tony's very angry with you, Shadow. <laughs> you hear, Shadow? I hear. I've been very clever, Shadow. And Tony has placed me in the middle of the room so that I shan't get in the way of his groping for you. There. There. He has started his search. He's coming toward you, Shadow. Do you think so, Kulima? Thank you for speaking, Shadow. I have pushed that tone toward the sound of your voice. <laughs> you hear him coming toward you, Shadow? That tone will find you, and then you will die. If that bomb goes off, we will all be killed. There is plenty of time. You will not talk long with Anton's fingers around your throat. Your man is rather slow, Kulima. Slow, Shadow, but sure. Nothing can save you. Nothing? <laughs> ah, there. He has reached the wall. Now, Shadow, he will herd you back into your corner. It is not over yet. Are you prepared to die, Shadow? Listen, Shadow. He's moving along the wall. And now, Professor, it is the Shadow's turn to play. Play? You're helpless. Not quite, Quilima. Here is a trick I learned from you. <laughs> Listen, Professor, do you recognize this? and he can feel the vibrations. I tap out instructions like you do. I'm talking to him now. No, Anton, don't listen. That, it's not your master. Anton can't hear you, Kalima. Remember, he's a deaf mute. But he will pay attention to my signal, especially when I tell him that he's in a room with a time bomb. Anton! Oh, if I could only reach the wall. You're in the middle of the room, Kalima, and you're helpless. You cannot move unless someone carries you. It's dark, and Anton can't see you either. I, 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 I can call. I must. Oh, it's 